and local community organizations were recognized by the governor's office today for their de dedication and service to Maryland. Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford joined the recipients as they took in a special black history presentation at the Banneker Douglas Museum in Annapolis. Tonight we're honoring the founders of African American organizations that are uh, introducing innovative, inclusive, and unified approaches to what service looks like in Maryland. Each of our awardees tonight will be receiving the Senator Verda Wacom Legacy Award because Senator Verda Wacom's career is the perfect roadmap for what Maryland leading through service looks like. Coming back to Baltimore, I began to become a community activist. With my husband's blessing and, and with my daughter Mary Sue, he said, go ahead and, and be active in the community. The legacy of Verda Welcome is that she loved her community. She did not want to see any harm come to it. She wanted to work for especially people of African descent, but of all people in her community. And so I did become a community activist. All that I had gone through, all the prejudice, all the sexism and racism that I had endured made me want to fight for the rights of other colored women. And so I joined the Northwest Neighborhood Improvement Association. I joined the League of Women Voters. I joined the Natural Council of Negro Women, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. I joined the Boy Scouts. I even joined the March of Dimes. I was on a mission. She never gave up, and that's the message, to persevere, to not give up, to fight through the adversity and you will win that struggle. She really brought uh, marginalized communities together and to the center of conversations and she really moved the needle on really important issues, as you said, for women, for um, African Americans. I, Verda Freeman, welcome the first Negro woman to hold a state Senate seat in the nation and ready in this relay race to pass the baton to the next runner. My challenge to you today, who will accept it? The ceremony followed the governor's announcement proclaiming February as Black History Month in Maryland.